Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. And we are at? Whitewood. Whitewood. Home yes. of the Indians. Yes. And this is part of their old school apparently, but we don't know what part, do we? I guess maybe the brick part would be my guess. I don't oh, know. I don't know what you're saying. I'm talking about what, what it was as, as the school, what they used it for. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I don't know. It dates back to 1940 and that's all we know, so. Yeah. I know maybe somebody will. Maybe somebody tell us in the comment. Somebody's yeah. about to have a coronary when they hear this and you idiots i really don't think like that middle part is part of the old school because it looks way too new well if but. it's just a brick then it's about five by eight <laughs> <laughs> so. i didn't mean that i meant like they demolished like most of it or okay. just left a little bit you know what i mean yeah very well possible so. guess what who doesn't know this guy <laughs> Somebody will be sure to tell us in the comments. We'll try yeah. to find out beforehand. Maybe. And it is now a community center and the senior citizen center. So yeah. let's get on the road and show what else we got. All right, let's do it. Again, there's a nod to the Whitewood Indians, which will now be the Twin Valley Panthers, right? Yes. Okay. All right, let's get on the road. Okay, we're on the road to Whitewood, but we thought we'd take a little segue, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And what is in front of us, you know. The bread store. The bread store, but we can't. We're disputing which one it was. Uh-oh. I was going to say, watch for your job, because it was a little bit. Yeah, I don't remember what brand of a bread. I feel that? like I um, like, see it in my head from when it was the bread store. Yeah. But I couldn't tell you for the life of me. I thought it was Kearns, and you thought it might be Sunbeam or something. That, you know, so I don't know. It wasn't Sunbeam. I just thought... I don't know. I don't it think it's either, but I, I don't know. Wasn't it yellow? I think so. It was one of those yellow ones. So let's move on to Sunny's Quick Stop. Yes. I can't think of a time that I've come up through here that I haven't stopped very rarely. Yes. Because it's basically the last stop saloon up through here. And gas is 4.30 here. Woo! That's rough, ain't it? Perfect time to thank our patrons and donors and yeah. sponsors. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Thank you, patrons and donors, because you keep us on the road. Yes. Now, this is a very seldom event for us, but we're actually, somebody suggested a place to go, and it worked out to go with that within the same week. Yes, absolutely. So, and there's also a donor, Brenda, yes. Brenda Lane. Yes, thank you, Brenda. We appreciate you so much. So, hopefully you enjoy this video. And neither Melody nor I know where Whitewood ends or begins, so mm-hmm. in an abundance of caution, we started right off of the... Bread store. Yeah, the bread, the bread store, store there, right off the four lane. Yeah. So, let's head on back here and see what we can see. And I'm guessing that Whitewood doesn't have any, like, um, actual downtown or anything, right? Well, a little bit of a... Um, I wouldn't even say downtown so much. There's a couple of buildings down through there where they used to be. Yeah. I've been down here so long, I honestly got out or at least that part of town. Yeah. I don't really know what's there left anymore. We're just past the Keene Mountain prison. Prison, yeah. Yeah. So we turned off somewhere near the Keene Mountain. And right here on the right is Noah Horn oil drilling. Oil drilling. Oil drilling, yeah. Yeah. I knew Noah Horn. Oh, really? He's no longer with us, but yes. Mm. So, for those who don't know, Whitewood is in Buchanan County, yes. and it is an unincorporated community. In the 2000 census, Whitewood had 485 citizens, and it is located along the Dismal River, which is part of the Big Sandy River. You said that right, Dismal, right? Yeah. Dismal, yeah. Dismal is like an area over here. I know they have a rescue squad even, but... How would you like for that to be the name of your community? Yeah, Dismal I know, is. right? So, this community was actually settled in the early 1900s by lumber companies that wanted to log the forests for the wood. Um, so, it was named Whitewood after the color of the lumber. Okay. And then the first lumber mill was established here in 1905. The post office established in 1906. And the old Whitewood High School was actually demolished in 2010. Which is really sad. That was the home of the Indians, the Whitewood Indians. Yeah. And uh, they're very well remembered for their basketball court. Mm -hmm. It was not a full court. Oh, wow. It was... I guess it was maybe two-thirds of a real court. So, you know, and again, 
I can't remember some of this changed, but at one point, from my understanding, that you had to take it, the ball back across one of the center lines to be considered, you know, going going full court. Anyway, they uh, I didn't explain that well, but they were known for humongously high scoring games. Mm -hmm. They had ridiculous some hundred and some to hundred. You know, you never oh, see wow. that. Yeah, you never see it in high school. Yeah. I was looking before, like uh, one of the top rebounding, single game rebounding performances happened at Whitewood. Uh, Robinson fell off, forgot his first name. Uh, did it, uh, had 48 rebounds in a game. <laughs> it's like oh, wow. amazing. Well, of course, we just passed one of the larger lines around here, too. Mm -hmm. What was it called? Corondo? Corondo? What just we passed? Yeah. Coronado, I think, is bottom Coronado. out. Coronado, okay. Used to be, used to be a console mine. Oh, okay. I think console may have gotten out of all coal mining. Really? Moved in, yeah, moved into natural gas. Knew that. Yeah. They were the major player for a long time, and then, mm -hmm. of course, before them, at various times, one of the major players was around this area is Island Creek, and then Joel Smokeless. They're just a little bit down the road. They have several mines. Yeah. But it's, I mean, this is definitely cold country. I mean, you couldn't. It's kind of funny. The road here doesn't have center line, just the outer. That kind of tells you it's more narrow. Yeah. This road's a little scary too, ain't it? Yeah. For me. Yeah. For you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the difference for this for you is you can make a really good time over this mountain. Uh -huh. Now I'm telling you, yeah, we out. The Dukes of Hazard would love this. Oh my gosh. Because it's fairly oh, straight. You didn't tell me it was going to be. Oh my gosh. It's, 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 <laughs> it's very <laughs> steep. It's very, very steep. Yeah, but it's fairly straight. Very gentle curves. So it just makes it fun. A great place to ride a motorcycle, I'm sure. I hope y'all are watching at home because I am not. My oh, eyes my are glued shut. <laughs> well, it's funny. It's very steep. The funny thing is, if you weren't in the car, I'd be going about 20 miles an hour faster than I am oh right now. Oh my so. gosh, you're going 50. Don't tell people that. How fast do you need to go? <laughs> am I getting scolded? No, I'm just <laughs> saying. Now I'm going to worry about you if I'm not riding with you. Oh, it's fun. I used to do that all the time going these back roads and if you knew one that was a good straight shot you could just book it you know and because you can't see us while we were driving you don't see how he drives with one hand on the wheel and then he talks with his hands so sometimes it's no hands so help me god if virginia state police <laughs> mail me a ticket for <laughs> confession <laughs> Well, right now you can just say it's my word against yours, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because I think I'm in the 10 and 2 right now, if you're a little closer. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> very patiently driving and <laughs> Now, here's where it gets a little hazy for me. You can go left or right across this bridge here. Okay. Uh, we'll go right because that's where the school is, if I'm not mistaken. Our um, school bus, right? The well, there's a school here now, too, but it's not. Oh, uh, okay. You know, I don't think I've ever been here. Well, if you go to Joel Valley, which is just three miles down the road, that's where all those abandoned houses are, those old coal camp houses. Okay. They're, they're putting in some ATV trails, and frankly, uh, they haven't done the best job of promoting this. I'm just being honest at it, because mm -hmm. it's not. Uh, that it does really well a lot of other places, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really, hasn't taken off greatly here. And it should be great trails, I would think. If I'm saying something I shouldn't say, I'm heavily medicated right now, so. Well, that's even better to hear uh, coming across that mountain. No, it, just, it makes me more focused. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You are not heavily medicated. He's joking about no, that. I'm lightly medicated. No, you're not. <laughs> I said that for your benefit to get your heart rate up so you won't fall asleep. My heart rate was already up. Well, you are saying you are bored earlier. I don't right? have to do my cardio this evening. Off I'm, getting camera. My, oh, yeah. I'm getting my heart exercise now. You were saying off camera you were bored a little earlier, so I'll <laughs> make sure I take care of that for you. Well, we'll keep on going because it gets more and more rural out this way. And we went into, like I said, Joe Valley, which I did a video on. Loggy Bottom Church. That's cute. The Loggy Bottom Boys. It's kind of close. Yeah. Actually. What are they saying? Man and Constant. Yeah. Joy. That's, 
Yeah. <laughs> the, the church. I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> it's not Soggy Mountain. Or yeah. Soggy Bottom. Soggy Bottom. So, that used to be a... Salon, yeah, it used to be a... Health Clinic. Huh. Station. Whitewood Fire oh, Department. Fire Department. That's yeah. a nice old building. It looks fairly yeah, new. It is. I got my friend from the hospital that's from here. From Whitewood? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We always gave him a hard time because he'd say Whitewood. Everybody says Whitewood. Which I think we talked about that in the early video. Yeah. Everybody says drags out that eye in white. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's cute though. No wonder too. I don't have no problem with that at all. Well, maybe I just uh, imagined that there was still a school in this area, so. Maybe you did. That's probably. You know, actually, when we were at that turn, it looked like kind of a school straight ahead. That's so probably, yeah, probably That was not. probably it. But I was just listening to you. I trusted you. Well, that's your first mistake. There's a white garage yeah. and a white used cars, but both are out of business. White's bottom. Well, it's kind of funny, too, because there's a lot of people last name White from here. I got some friends from here. Yeah. That. Oh, that old house is really Oh, cool. my gosh, yeah, that's great. That's really neat. I don't think I've noticed that before. Wow. I did notice there was a truck that just barreled down on my buns and just about killed us. We could have gone up there and haunted it. It would have been a short walk. Yeah. I'd prefer not to, but... Well, you know, well, there could be worse places we could haunt. You start to see a lot more abandoned houses because it's getting very rural out here. There's no yeah. no uh, amenities, I guess, for lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. You get out here with no grocery stores, no yeah. health care, no, you know, very, very rural area. So a lot of people tend to move away. Yeah. Over time. And we've actually talked about this in, like, um, on the four lane going diving, and there's some abandoned houses. And a lot of times it was like houses were handed down in the the joker get past us goodness gracious houses were handed down in the family but then like people want to move and it's hard to sell yeah alexis manor i wonder what that was i don't know I wonder it's like an old building the stone and it could have something to do with this atv route maybe they rent oh, rooms yeah. out or something i bet they do Cause so left goes to jolo yeah. i guess that's our cue to turn around ain't it um <laughs> no i think it's that building the atv route is that way I believe. Oh, Whitewood Indians, there was a school. Oh, I'll we'll go back that way in just a second. Another volunteer fire department. Oh. That one looks older, but they've moved down. Yeah, I was gonna say. So I don't think they have that many fires, yeah. A lot of old coal mines and stuff up through here. Mm-hmm. I guess a lot of it's being starting to be converted into natural gas, too, so. Probably. Coal Hall entrance, 500 feet. to be not working at this point. Yeah. We'll have to pull over and show that. But yeah. A lot of people are fascinated by these old coal mining sites. Yeah. Uh, not the least of which is me. I love seeing them. As promised, we decided to stop here for a minute and check out this old mine site. Looks like it's Dominion Mine number 36. And that's part of Sun Coke Energy, as we're like we were talking about before, part of Joel Smokeless. So they have several mines up through here. The fact that you're number 36, it should tell you that quite a few mines. They are plenty. This one looks to be inactive right now. Mm -hmm. But nice to see. I still have it. Okay. There's an old buggy, hunt buggy. Yeah. And an old store, cool Ford truck. Dead ahead, yeah. It's a real throwback, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I like it. I like the old trucks. Okie dokie. Okay, we'll make an old turn. It says we end up at the ATV route this way. This 
lane. Across the Roy Dean Wimmer Memorial Bridge. Watwood High School. Well, I thought it said that it was uh, demolished. T40 Community Center. I don't know if that's the high school or if it's just part of it. It had to have been just part of it. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't that small. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't think it'd been that small. Here, you just randomly found one here. Oops. I guess that uh, you jarred the car too much. There you go. <laughs> so. ATV route goes to the right. Yeah, but I do believe that we will. Well, we'll take that right. River. And then turn back around real quick because where we're going is straight ahead. And this is on Brown Mountain. The Dismal River Rescue Squad. Is that what that says? Yeah. Hmm. So I'm guessing the new one's probably around here somewhere. I don't yeah, think it's the current. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, cool. That ATV yeah. route looks really cool. Yeah, it does. I wish that I wasn't so, um, you know, accident prone, but I've been called the freak accident girl one too many times to do anything like that. Unless I catch you nickname, Elise. Yeah. Here we go with this. I always like seeing this stuff. I don't know why. What did I did all this drawing on here? Yeah. Used to be a lot. Neat. Seemed like there used to be a lot more of it, but maybe there is on the other side as we turn around. So. Yeah. I can't remember those two characters. I mean, they're out uh, there. Uh, shoot, my son watches them all the time. They'd slap me for not knowing. Oh, is that not Rick and Morty? No, no, it's, no, no that's the old guy. Yeah, shoot. I can't think of it either. So now, that's a oh, newer cartoon. Yeah, actually. yeah, it is. So that's fairly recent. <laughs> it's gonna be like that. Break me off a piece of that. <laughs> Fancy <laughs> feast, huh? Yeah. Football cream. I'll sort of say the cabbage patch beds. <laughs> no. <laughs> the regular show, no. What's it called? Oh my gosh. Oh, what? Give me a break. Let's start that again. Yeah. <laughs> you got candy into doing it. Yeah. So there's the old Dismal River Volunteer Rescue Squad. Here comes a big bump up here, so brace yourself. It's the voice. Happened upon the voice. I know. For people and by the people. Earl Cole. You know what we'll do? What? Start following the signs. Yeah. I used to think you had some like clairvoyance or something. Really, you just read. Yeah, Follow. that's it. I just read songs. <laughs> and that's why I was saying that I'm better at direction than you. Because I read follow. songs. No, I read songs. I'll make up directions. You follow them. You know what? When Jeff Foxworthy says, here's your song, you would totally miss that. Well, it ain't Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> it's Bill Engvall, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so here's yeah, your right. song. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Quick question, who do you guys get her done? That is Larry the Cable Guy. Of course. <laughs> you know Larry the Cable Guy is like from Chicago? I thought it was Nebraska. I don't know. I think it was Chicago. I know whatever it is, he's got a fake accent. Yeah, it's not. Oh cool. yeah, yeah, it's fake. It's a cheap name to me. I mean it's still funny. No. I didn't like him as well though. I, I hate to say that, but I like authentic. I do too. I mean Fox like Foxworthy and Bill Engvall, they're both legit. Yeah. And Ron White. Yeah. Mm, he's a little crude for me. I'm sure you like him. But Ron White? Yeah. I, I don't like him as well as I do the other ones just because I'm tired of crude. Yeah. Well, I probably liked it better a while back, but I'm just, it's harder to be funny and clean. That's what we were talking about the other day with I Love Lucy. Like, yeah. that good, innocent humor is just gone about. So, it's like unique now. I like it. Yeah, everybody think, everybody's trying to shock you, and, mm -hmm. and I mean, you know, he's got the point that nothing shocks you anymore. Yeah. I'm shocked when somebody doesn't try to shock me. And that's bad. Yeah, it is bad. <laughs> you didn't say it? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's good. That would have been a good clean comedy, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Up here on the left is the school again. Okay. And where was it you said that was... Which is now a community center. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'd love to know what part of White 
what high school that was. It's, like you said, it says 1940. Yeah. And well, you can go down in there, yeah. Gates are open. Good deal. Two, two, two. Pretty neat. Yeah, pretty neat. I'd just love to know what that is. Okay, we got back here to the place where it divides, and here's the school that I promised you. It's Twin Valley High School. Yes, Twin Valley High School. It's a really nice building, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is. Really, really nice. Twin Valley Panthers, purple and silver. I always yeah. was jealous of their colors, so those were cool. Right. <laughs> Although I like being orange and black. Yeah. They don't have the nicest football field, do they, though? Like, well, it's kind of Buckhannon County thing, too. It's hard to find flat land, really. I mean, well, well that's very true. This, this more so than Grundy probably could find it, but... Yeah. It's kind of neat, these little coal miners here at the entrance. Yeah, I used to see those everywhere. Okie dokie, let's travel around here. There's not a whole heck of a lot to see down this way. Mm -hmm. Because if you follow, you can actually end up this back way into Hurley. You can go to Grundy. Mm -hmm. and you can actually end up over in... Kentucky. Okay. And then ultimately West Virginia, you can get to make one from here, believe it or not. Oh, very cool. I figured we'd go down this way just to make sure we showed There was a post office. Yeah. yeah. And that probably the Pilgrim's Knob. Okay, yeah. Pilgrim's Knob. So it, it, was. Okay. it sure was. So I guess we're not in Whitewood anymore? I guess not. I don't know where Pilgrim's Knob and Whitewood... It's kind of like one of those Richlands Dorian, right? Yeah, and Cedar things. Bluff. And, yeah. yeah. Like Hill. where does it all end and begin? Yeah. But everybody has strong opinions about that. Or a lot of people have strong opinions about that stuff, too. Yeah. I don't get too torn up about it myself, but... Exactly. But I've done videos long enough to know that some people do. Yes. Okay, well, we'll, we'll turn around here just a minute and... There's not a whole heck of a lot more to see this way. But I did get to like work reference with Pilgrim's Knob, and I've never really known where that name came from. So maybe I can find out and put a caption here because I just don't know. It seemed I was like trying to rack my brain because I know that I've like read that story. I think that there's like a like a mountain knob, no, like an overlook, overlook kind of thing, and um, I forget where the Pilgrim Park come in. I was really trying to rack my brain, sorry, <laughs> but um, yeah, because I've looked that up before. So this looks like a great place to turn around. Yes, this is like Oakwood Fire and Rescue. Wow, well, so we're, yeah. they got plenty of fire departments here, don't they? Yes. Which is a good thing. That's a good thing. Yes, as long as you have a volunteer as well, Link. Amen. Yes. Well, we're just showing you all kinds of angles as yes. we drive through this whitewood area. Maze. Kind of tricky back here, isn't it? It is a little bit. You have no GPS, no cell phone service. Especially if you're not familiar with yeah. the area like us, I guess. And just, yeah. Yeah, it's not marked. Exploring. Market. Yeah, exactly. It's a good place to get lost. I, I definitely wouldn't advise anybody to come out here without a plan. Yeah. Exactly. I think we're coming more into 
white wood here too. Yeah, it's been on trestle was a uh, one time. Can you imagine watching a train go across there? Oh yeah, That'd I would be love amazing. it. It's great. I love that seeing that too. Love it. Yeah. I mean, think of all the engineering that went into that thing. Oh yeah. Just one. For sure. Cost a fortune just to build one of those these days. sure this one is not in use anymore but mm, I don't want to push your luck. Yeah. Wouldn't want to meet a coal train, I mean coal truck coming halfway down that. Uh, just, I think it's so sad to see a house like that just left wide open, you know, for yeah. anybody to go in and do anything to. Yeah, it just didn't bother shutting the doors and there's just yeah. And it couldn't have been all that long ago somebody lived there because you see those uh, or, satellites. Or more than likely, they shut the doors on somebody's come in yeah. and messed with it and yeah. left them right open. Yeah. True. Yeah, it's sad to see that for sure. It is. But. Life goes on, doesn't it? That's all right. Gives us a good talking point, though, doesn't it? It does, yep. That's right. <laughs> 